Pratiba Pandey, uh, founder and CEO of Catalyst Technology and Harveda Botanicals. I might identify myself as an entrepreneur as well as a scientist. Uh, I'm looking into value addition of different uh, indigenous knowledge, traditional knowledge and resources in Nepal, especially in the field of medicinal plants. After four years of research on medicinal plants, uh, we wanted to spin off uh, from Catalyst Technology, a company called Harveda Botanicals that would look into producing um, international level high quality products that is based on medicinal plants of Nepal, but also indigenous knowledge um, on skin care and medicinal plants in Nepal. And we've been able to do that through Harveda Botanicals. We don't only create products, but also we try to create stories of those products to identify Nepal in the international market through our products. Working in the intersection of innovation and entrepreneurship, there were quite a few challenges as an entrepreneur, but additionally as a woman entrepreneur as well. A lot of women in our countries are empowered, you know, but also the society is not ready to accept those you know, empowered women. Just for example, in my case, I was trained uh, abroad. I, I got my um, PhD, I got my expertise. I started leading different companies in the US, Korea, Singapore. And when I came back to Nepal, I felt like and that tag of being a woman was really heavy and I realized that there was a lot of mindset changes that needs to be made before women can really take a leap uh, by using their expertise. There is lack of innovation in the ecosystem. And I see why. There is a huge cost for doing innovation in Nepal because innovative startups are not supported in terms of tax um, or tax um, subsidies or other kinds of incentives are not there. So there is higher cost for doing innovation and lower uh, reward for that. Another thing we do from Catalyst Technology is we really lobby for changing policies around innovation, science and technology. And as one of the council members um, at the Ministry of uh, Education, Science and Technology, we've been lobbying to change this in the policy as well as implementation document. And we've been successfully been able to do that. So let's see, I mean, there is an implementation challenge, but those are some of the things that we're also doing, not just from the private level, but also from the government level. Where we have positioned Harveda and Catalyst is we work in terms of academic sector as well because we do research in-house on medicinal plants and we have also been able to acquire different grants. A recent grant that we acquired is through UNESCO of $50,000 and we have a project going on on value addition of waste medicinal plants and fruits in Nepal. Um, on top of that, we look into incubating such projects and bringing them as companies, which we talk about, but very less implementation there. And that's exactly the example. Harveda is an example of such company where we were successfully able to incubate a research project into a company. started Harveda, we saw a huge uh, problem in medicinal plants uh, sourcing, supply chain. And the thing that struck me the most is I met a lot of farmers while I did research for Ministry of Industry. And I realized what they get, the value they get for their eels, for the medicinal plants they collect or the essential oils they um, distill is a lot lesser than what 
uh, is given in the market and also what is given in the Nepali market is a lot less than what is given in the international market and that's a huge gap but also opportunity. The farmers were at the bottom of the supply chain and they were getting um, in a lack of better word rigged so so I felt like we can do something around that and what we do at Harveda is we source directly from um, the farmers and farmer cooperatives and also we give them technical knowledge and skills so that they can generate their own income that's one of our value system another is as uh, in Nepal, when we say Nepali products, a lot of uh, people are reluctant to buy Nepali products because they think it's not good quality. So we're trying to change that mindset by saying in Nepal, we can bring in innovative, really high quality products that is competitive with international market. And that's what we are doing at Harveda. We are working with the government in the policy. We're working in the private sector to sort of uh, bring in new way of doing research, a new way of doing business. Uh, but also we're working in the research side of things so that we are constantly innovating in-house. <laughs>